I like my switches, so I was pleased when these arrived. The Honeywell Micro Switch branded model 26ET61-T. The military part number is M5594-2-1. It's a toggle switch with a standard lever and double pole single throw switches. There's solder turret terminals on the bottom. I believe this is the type of switch used on the A10C aircraft for the SAS stability augmentation system. These are around $700 or 500 British pounds new they're in stock from some suppliers online you'll find them for about $75 second hand including shipping on eBay I managed to get hold of five so I've got four for the panel um, that you see here and there's another one hooked up for some electrical testing here's a closer look at the switch I've already removed the metal ring the o-ring the keyed washer, the locking washer, and the hex nut from the switch thread. The nut has a hole for a locking wire. You can see now the threads exposed. It's a 15 30 second inch thread. So it's about 12 millimeters in diameter. It'll go nicely into a half inch hole. The height from the top of the thread to the end of the toggle is 17 millimeters 0.7 inches and you'll see when the switch is in the off and de-energized position the toggle is opposite the keyway on the thread and when it's switched on the toggle moves towards the keyway so that's the orientation of the switch action Here you can see the solder tag terminals on the bottom of the switch. The coil is connected on terminals 7 and 8 and there's two independent switches on terminals 1, 2 and 3 and 4, 5 and 6. Uh, by the way the common connection for those switches are on one and four terminals one and four are the commons on each of the two switches not on two and five as you might expect in the middle and you'll notice there's a there's a smaller little connection between the numbers two and five i don't know what that's for i can't find out in the data sheet any reference to it at all i'd be very interested if anyone knows what it what it's for Maybe it's just a, a ground connection or something to do with the, the solenoid. These terminals stick out about three and a half millimeters, 0.13 inches from the bottom of the switch. For the electrical test, we'll have a look at the current consumption and the latching operation at different voltages. The coil is marked as 28 volts DC. When it's all disconnected, I measured the coil resistance at 244 ohms. For this test, I've got the switch under test in the middle of the panel. You can see the red elastomer ingress protection in the middle switch. There's an LED above that which is switching off the terminals one and three, which are normally open. And then this small toggle switch at the bottom is switching a DC voltage from my bench power supply, which you might hear whirring away in the background. So that's supplying power to the switch's solenoid coil. On the two analog meters, you can see the voltage and current that the coil is taking. They are just the coil, by the way, they're not showing the, um, the current used by the LED or anything else. Just off camera, I've got a better, I've got my multimeter hooked up to show the, the DC current. 
and there's a diode across the coil just to take the back EMF when it switches off. All right, so firstly, with no voltage on the coil, the, the switch will not latch, but it will move the electrical contacts. So effectively it's act, acting as a, as a one throw non-latching switch. So it still works as an electrical switch, but it won't latch in the on position. This action is not particularly stiff. I would say this is sort of medium resistance for a, a typical toggle switch. If I switch on the supply to the coil, you see on the meter we've gone on to 9 volts DC going to the coil and it's taking about 35 milliamps. Now although it's marked as a 28 volt DC coil with a 9 volt supply on the coil taking 35 milliamps, it will latch on and stay on quite reliably with 9 volts. In fact it's reasonably stiff to operate. You wouldn't switch this off by accident with 9 volts. So it's marked as 28 volts but I think the good news is at 9 volts it will latch on quite reliably and then of course the, um, the thing we all like to see is when we switch off the coil supply the toggle trips. So the, the latching stops when the coil voltage is removed. It will still operate the contact, but it won't latch. If we switch the coil voltage back on, the switch will again latch in the on position. So that's nine volts, 35 milliamps. I can wind the voltage up. At 12 volts, it's taking about 47 milliamps. 15 volts, 58 milliamps. I'll go right up to 24 volts. There we have 91 milliamps. And then all the way up to the, the 28 volts that it's rated for. It's taking about 105 milliamps there. Uh, it's worth noting this this latching action becomes extremely stiff at these higher voltages when there's 28 volts on the coil it's it's quite difficult to operate this switch with one finger you certainly wouldn't knock it off by accident and you might have trouble doing it deliberately so it's really stuck on with 28 volts on the coil i think all of this is good news because you probably don't want to put 28 volts on it in a simulator and uh, if we go all the way back down to, for instance, 3 volts, it's tripped off there. 3 volts is not enough to latch it on, and it's not even enough to make the LED come on. I'll go up to 4 volts. No, so you're not, for instance, going to get this on with a 3.3 volt supply but 5 volts it will just latch however it will also unlatch very easily so this the coil on this unit at least will just latch on at 5 volts but it's not reliable it doesn't actually latch on every time at that voltage 6 volts seems to be the minimum 6 volts DC on the coil it will latch on and it requires a gentle positive action to get it off um, probably not reliable. I think you could you could knock that off six volts. So I would suggest nine volts, thirty five milliamps. That's about the minimum for a sensible operation. At that point, it's um, what you'd expect to to force required to knock off a toggle switch. That's the. Honeywell Micro Switch 26ET61-T electrically held toggle switch. I'll leave some close-up photos at the end of the video. I hope you found this one useful and interesting. Thanks for watching.